<laughs> Going on. Hey Manu, how's it going? Okay, yeah, so today I want to start finishing day eight. I think it's everybody's favorite track, or well, it's the most voted for track from the series, day eight. Day three and day ten are the top ones. Maybe we can take elements from day eight and day three and combine them. Or take something from like a less popular track, but something that I like. So I'm going to just play this through and see like maybe what sections need something extra. And uh, yeah, basically just take some notes. So. <laughs>
actually let me just finish listening through Mixwarp, Sean, Danko, Duplicious, what's up, man? What's the effect? You've heard it before, the one on the synth that goes from side to side. Was that in the breakdown? This one? Yeah, just uh, if it is that one, then it's it's just uh, an auto filter, <laughs> just with an LFO on it going up and down. The phasery sound is probably just the resonance going up and down. And how it was made was by taking this drone sound And then putting it on the beats mode of 16th and bringing it down to make it like stutter. And then I monitored the bass because I didn't want it to be wide. <coughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna, I feel like once I've gone through all of these notes, which is like one session's work, probably finish all of this stuff today. Track is basically done. I don't think I really need to add much to it. This is one of the ones that came together really quick. So the first note is the plings need mixing, and that's the... Yeah, these things. I'm not sure I really like them. They work, but I wonder if... Maybe they sound better an octave down. Let's see. But maybe it's just the wrong sound. Maybe it should just be played less often or quieter. I feel like I just want it to be in the background. And maybe I can layer it with something else. Um, let's see, maybe I can uh, find a show in browser, find a similar sound, show similar files, yes. Is this a cowbell? Yeah, that's already a cowbell, so let's find something that doesn't sound cowbelly. I think that is a cowbell, but has a different feel to it. Uh. 
feel like I actually, what I want is like a, more of like a drum sound. Maybe a, be like a tom sound or something. Something deeper. Uh, one shot. Apparently that's E. like a sequence
check this in my speakers. peripheral and what about this one okay I think that one can be like that that's fine I've done let me delete those notes effects I want effects here I think I can do effects by using the Clap this loop. Let me take all of these, them in a group together. Percussion. And I think I'm going to put a reverb right onto vintage reverb. Right on the insert. And well, let me just set this reverb up to see how I like it. Sounds nice. Now I can kind of blend that in and wash out the drums a bit. So have a send. With a separate reverb on it. This one a bit longer and brighter. Noise. 
me up to that. I don't want it pretty subtle. <laughs> You're getting feedback from my mind. Are you going to match the white noise to the melody like Deleuze? Um, no, I think I'm happy how it sounds there. Like that. Uh, thank you for the basic waves channel. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm super excited for it. We've got some artists I think you guys are going to be really excited to to watch coming up and yeah lots of episodes being recorded so I think it's going to be something special okay response melody I'm just curious to see if we take a melody from another track that maybe I really like the melody, but I'm not too sure on the track as a whole. Um, let me just check it out. There, like I've got this open here and I'm just gonna quickly go through them. <laughs> I think I like that track a lot, so I don't want to steal a melody from it. That one's also pretty cool, but I quite like it. I like that, like melody. See, E three, ten days, season four, episode three. I'm gonna try seeing what that melody sounds like. This one. Ambient computer bell. I feel like that was the layer. Right. 
Key is that? Who knows? D. Well, let's see what key how it would fit. Is it? I like the scale. Okay, we're in here. B minor. It does look like B minor. is like a counter somehow. Passion that kind of like has emphasis there.
take us to the next section. I feel like this. Something here. What do I need here? I feel like just some weird effect, something that we haven't heard before. Yeah, something like that. the vintage vibe from here. melody sounds nice but it, the filter doesn't open enough quickly enough but i also don't want to open it up too much because i want to save that for later on in the track so what i'm thinking here is to duplicate it and have a separate layer and i'm just going to take that midi quick put it underneath here don't crash don't do it Fuck you. <sighs> what even is that? What I did was try to make a new MIDI channel and it's like complaining about a sample or something. Mm-hmm. Hey. What have I lost now? Probably my oh, other room settings. No? I think I might have saved it just in time. <laughs> Sir, I'm thinking like something using like a really thin, like high sparkly sound um, with like a lot of reverb on it.
something like that. That looked pretty washed out.
of space to have like background and a lot of ideas there. I'm gonna delete that one. And the chord drops, I'm like getting rid of the chords. They do kind of just fade out pretty quick. <laughs> Where is that clave? I know it's in a loop. I think it's in this. This sounds like a job for split EQ. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. I want to... I want to isolate. Let's take four. It's going to be difficult. Can't really isolate the clay. Kind of sitting all the way around here. What I could do is like try and pan everything above four. So if I make that a mm, why can't I use let me do that. I want to pan me listen on headphones. I think um, this is not going to work for what I want to do. I'm going to I'm going to do this like kind of manually. Here we go, old school. Utility, balance. Let's see which one I want to pan. changes each time. And this one, this one to have it like the opposite side. And then on this one we have it like more centered. Let's see how that sounds in the mix. Like on this one, should be 
pretty far left. Interestingly. I want some water pan resets to be around the head.
Okay, um... I'm not sure I automate the volume of an entire song. Uh, I don't really ever automate the overall volume. I know some people do that, but um, you can just do it on the master. There's no reason you can't do that. The other way you could do it is, um, I mean, on the master with a utility. Don't do it with this because you don't want the, uh, yeah, I wouldn't play with that fader. I would, um, actually, I do sometimes do it, and that's when I, um, like, creating fade-ins and like fade-outs and stuff. Then I create like a whole group like this. And I just put a utility on there. And then I know some people like to like automate the gain in a breakdown, for example, and do... feel bigger um, but I don't know I don't really ever do that I feel like subconsciously I know that that volume automation is there and I just don't I don't like it I don't know <laughs> I don't really know why I don't do it the clave thingy is too loud. Let's turn it down to dB. So what was this from? That melody was from day four? How would it sound to take something else from there? Like the... Wait, was it from that one? Also, the question is, does it sound better in this track or in, in the one that I'm working on? Yeah, it was episode three. Curious to see how that lead sounds in here. I don't know if it'll fit. Is this channel?
Yeah. I also quite like how the day three sounds, and I'm wondering if I should have put this in here or not. Because if I take this out, then does it make this track unusable? Actually, that melody in the background on episode seven, I really like that. Uh, season four. I think it was Omnisphere. It wasn't that one. was that one. Let me just see how we can make this fit B minor. There it kind of fits. It could also work if it was up here. And then it resolves to the B. She works quite well. Hey, you guys gonna come down to the Colorize event? Mix Warp, Mason, everybody else?
feels better.
Yeah, I do like a two peripheral. I just don't know where it fits into this idea. so weird.
Oh, I know why, because this is armed and I was resampling. Okay. distracts from the main idea and uh, I don't know if it's actually strong or if I was just pleased that it sounded like it was in key. I guess I should play it through and see how it feels. Let's go.
Yeah, that CPU was like, it was dying over there. That's a nice little watermark in case people are ripping my shit again. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll see you guys again until next week. So have a good weekend. Um, yeah, enjoying this track. And oh yeah, I'm forgetting something. Later on today at 7 p.m. UK time, GMT, I'm doing a live stream on the Enhanced Discord server. I'm going to be breaking down my new release, uh, my remix for Prana. Um, if you haven't heard it, it's this one. Prana and Julia Church Lullaby. It's out today. And yeah, breaking it down later. So, if you haven't heard it, go listen to it. And if you like how it sounds, then come and watch the track breakdown. And you can also ask questions and stuff in there. I think it's like, it's called a stage or something. I don't know if we've used stages in my Discord before. Maybe we have. Anyway, come and join. The invite link, I think, is here on my Discord server under announcements. You can just... Click on it over here and yeah, I'll see you there. That's 7 p.m. tonight, GMT. Goodbye.